What's up everyone? So I just got back from a week-long trip in Omaha, Nebraska, working out there uh, for a major uh, software company. I can't say who it was, um, but yeah, it was a pretty cool project. I'm bummed I was under like an NDA so I couldn't post anything or share anything. But yeah, it was a, a long week for sure. Uh, got back Friday, today's Sunday, 9 a.m., and I got a bunch of new lights, as you can tell by the thumbnail and video title. And now the hardest part is trying to figure out where all this stuff is going to go. Um, because I mostly do one-man band type of stuff. If I was just a gaffer then this would be fine, but I need to leave some room for like camera equipment. I usually have an innovative cart built and I roll it up. So all, currently all my lighting is taking up this whole entire um, right side, but I need to somehow reorganize the van in a configuration where I can still have all this lighting but also have some room for cameras. So yeah, I'll give you guys a little uh, peek at what I uh, picked up from Aperture. They're having a huge sale currently right now. Um, so if you guys are interested in purchasing anything, I'll leave a description. Sorry, I'll leave a link in the description below. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty good sale. They're throwing in a lot of like um, free stuff as well as uh, some of the lighting um, is on sale like 30 percent or something so i'll give you guys uh, a link there but yeah i'll show you what i was able to pick up yeah i picked up two of the p60x's um these are super sweet um i've used them before on set and they're quickly becoming some of my uh go-to lights for background and special lights hair lights kicker lights whatever just super versatile they have a daylight version but I, I would recommend obviously getting the bicolor i think those are um definitely a better choice bang for your buck um yeah but they come with you know all the accessories you need to get started with the barn doors npf adapter and all the cables uh so yeah i picked up two of those they came with uh, soft boxes, so I have those. Um, I did get the the mini um, dome soft box, like the version three, the quick release, and you can use that with these guys as well. They have a little uh, Bowens mount adapter, so that will come in handy for sure. Um, I picked up the Spotlight uh, mini zoom. So this is, uh, you can really only use it with these units. It's not Bowen's mount. Um, so you have to use it with one of these, which I think is fine because these are literally the perfect match. Um, super small profile, as opposed to the other version of sp the spotlight that they have that's Bowen's mount. That thing is huge. I mean, the case alone is about this size here. So I picked up a spotlight and then a 600X, got one of those. And then also picked up a 1200D uh, daylight unit. They don't have a bicolor, unfortunately. I probably would have went with that if they did, but yeah. And I hate how they wrap these cables. They had them I, I like wrapping these more circular, like a regular Stinger or XLR, but they wrap them flat to get them to fit in here. So I'm trying to re reroute these so they're not wrapped like that. Um, but yeah, I picked up the 1200D. Um, this is going to be used more for commercial work, not for talking head interviews, unless it really is that kind of talking head more high budget um, then I'll definitely use this thing but I know this is gonna get used pretty minimal for 
more commercial work or multicam work if I have to light multiple people or like light a room. This will be my go-to. Um, so yeah, it has all the accessories and all that. You can fit like a reflector dish. I'm not going to use this case. It's absurd. Um, I know it's great to protect the light and all that, but it's just, it's way too much, way too much padding, too bulky, takes up like half, half the room of my van, <laughs> pretty much. I'm just, so I'm trying to figure out a good method. I really have to rebuild some of my shelves and I'm actually going to move all this stuff over on this side. I'll go over that later, but for now, I picked up the 1200D. Definitely a beast. Okay, and the next uh, item I purchased is a 600X. Um, so this is like the bicolor version of the 600D Pro. Um, yeah, this thing so far is pretty sweet. You lose a little bit of output compared to the Pro because it is bicolor. But this will be my go-to light for talking head interviews for corporate stuff. I know a lot of times being in office spaces, um, having the ability to have a bicolor light is pretty much essential. I had two, if you're familiar with my videos, I had two 600Ds. Those were kind of my go-to lights. But oftentimes in office environments, I was wanting the ability to change uh, the bicolor, um, the Kelvin. But I did like having the output. There were some instances where I needed the full 100% if I was like bouncing or doing something quick outside. The 600D is definitely um, was good for that. So that's why I went with the 600X as opposed to the 300 um, X. I like having that ability to really have that full output if I needed. You know, 50% of the time I have the light at like 10%, but for the other 50%, it's nice having that ability to have that output. So I picked up that guy. Then in addition to the lighting purchase, I did pick up a new um, shotgun mic and um, boom pole system. I went with a Sennheiser MKH uh, 50, and then this is just a K-Tech small profile um, boom pole. There's the exact model there if you want to look it up. But yeah, it has the XLR coming out the bottom, which is great. And it's a wired and it, it's, it's aluminum so it's super heavy but um i don't really boom a lot of stuff so that will be fine but yeah i ended up going with this specific microphone because i'm not really i don't call myself an audio guy i don't really tweak my audio if it's a project i'm working on or i don't really know how to make it sound good um, EQ profiles and all that. I can do a little bit, but I've never been happy with some of the cheaper mics that I've been using. And um, more than that, I haven't been happy with the way it sounds when other people are editing the footage. I've seen a couple of my projects out in the wild where they just weren't EQing the mics correctly. Um, so this was a mic that was suggested by someone that sounds really good untouched. So very minimal EQ, if any, and it sounds really good just out of the box. Um, so that's why I, that was my thought behind getting this specific microphone um, for indoor dialogue and outdoor dialogue. I, I have this little blimp, mini blimp here um, by Rycote. So hopefully this will fix a lot of the issues I've been experiencing with more budget uh, microphones. I'm not saying you can't make them sound good. I've seen lots of people use a budget microphone and make it sound phenomenal. I just don't have that skill set or I just don't want to learn. Just not much of an audio guy. So um, yeah, that was my reasoning for this purchase here. 
And I always try to do like a end of year uh, big purchase. I usually save up some money, uh, mostly for tax write-off. I do like a couple of big purchases throughout the year to help compensate for taxes and pick up some new equipment that I'm needing. So I usually wait till there's some sort of sale so I can save a little bit of money. So in my case, the Aperture had that sale. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, guys. This is just a quick video for Sunday. Um, and I'll keep you posted on the van build. Uh, let me know if you guys are even interested in that sort of content, seeing kind of the van progress and change. Uh, just leave any feedback in the comments below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.